What's going on, everybody? Blazing here. Welcome back to another Raid Shadow Legends video. Hope you're having a wonderful day. Let me know in the comments down below, are you pulling for this 2x sacred and what you got? We are on Steven's account. You got 15 sacreds and let's see what our luck is going to have for us. Now, I think this account is probably seven or eight off of Mercy. Um, so I'm hoping for one, maybe two legendaries. Let's see what we can get. I'm hoping, really hoping for something good. Here we go. First one. Shatterbones. Um, actually, he's somebody I'm looking to level up just because of Centranos, because he's got a very interesting um, A3, right? Places a 15% decreased speed debuff on all enemies for two turns. Uh, fills the turn meter of all allies by 25%. Not bad, actually. Pretty solid. Um, so, I'm going to start looking at, you know, giving, uh, giving him some love. All right. Let's go. Next one. Pelagia. Um, someone, again, uh, probably I'm going to start looking into leveling, right? Uh, it does have the turn meter fill, which is always good. Um, depletes the turn meter on the A2. So, definitely, definitely going to start looking into her as well. Uh, a lot of these champions, especially with Centranos, are really, like, I got I to gotta go back and start reviewing every one of their kits. 13 sacreds left. What are we going to get? All right. Uh, Wizgar, not what I'm looking for. I want a legendary. Can we get a duchess? If this account gets a duchess, it is game-changing. Kytus, actually very fun to play around with on like the ghost second cardinal team. He can smack when he's below 50% HP. An absolute fun time to have with him. All right. 10 sacreds left. Come on, Plarium. Jarang, actually not that bad. Um, ignores the defense on the A1, right? Stun on the A2, pretty solid. Um, the A3 brings the decreased defense. So. Not my number one pick for Centranos, but um, I have, I do have a sixer and I have used them. Um, and he, he can make some stages help uh, work out for you. Ten more, come on. Catacomb Counselor, uh, AOE, uh, not AOE, ally attack. Sorry, um, on the um, A three right here, teams up with two random allies. Pretty good, um, you know. Could be better if it was everybody. I mean, we got Ferric in the fat that does, you know, all allies. So, all right, nine more. Lego, come on, Plarium. Don't, don't do this to me. Oh, go to hell. <laughs> Jingle Hunter, really? You know, the last Prism Shard video I did, I pulled like seven of him. Come on, give me a break. I don't need to see this guy anymore. Um, all right. Uh, oh, gosh. All right. Come on. Eight sacreds left. Let's get a Lego. Come on. Yes. Yes. Ooh, Suzerain Town. Um, actually, not that bad. Uh, AOE's basically on all the skills, right? Great for stun and Centranos. Perfect. Um, decrease speed on the A1. We get weaken and defense on the A2, right? Uh, very solid. And then heal reduction on the A3 actually is really great for um, the spider on, um, uh, what is it called? The, uh, <laughs> uh, the spider over in, um, why am I forgetting what it's? Doom Tower, there we go. Um, and then there's also some stuff you can do with the duo on here, right? Um, removes the uh, shields, block damage, and unkillable uh, buffs from everybody and places it with a heal reduction. So pretty, pretty solid right there. All right. Um, not, not the best one on this account, but we could definitely get some usage out of them, right? All right. Let's keep going. Seven more sacreds. Can we get a duchess? Come on, Plarium. Give me a duchess. Grunch. Killjoy, he is definitely killing my joy right now. 
definitely killing my joy. Come on. Marksman. Uh, I believe this is Jay Gig's favorite champion right here. Um, poisons on the A1, turn meter on the A2, and uh, ignore defense on the A3, attacks four random times. Could he nuke? I don't know. Maybe. Let me know if I should build one out. Five more sacreds. Here we go. Another catacomb counselor. Okay. Come on. Let's go. We need more gold. Jareg, very solid. Decrease uh, attack on the A1. We have ally protection, increased defense on the A2, uh, on a forward turn cooldown, and then continuous heal on the passive. Very, very solid. Great for clan boss. Uh, definitely use them in Centranos quite a bit. Chancellor Yasmin. I uh, have not used her yet, but I do have a six star ascension for her. So I'm definitely thinking about leveling her up. Um, no buffs, you get an extra hit. Uh, heals all allies by 40% of their max HP. Um, heals by 60% instead if ally has less. So you basically get um, you know, a full heal off on the whole team, which is pretty solid. Uh, and has a 50% chance of removing all buffs from enemies and then placing them with a sleep. So a full buff strip. 75% chance. Not bad. Not bad. All right. Two more sacreds. Let's go. Give me that Duchess. Come on. Lordric Falconheart. Not a Duchess, but actually pretty solid champion. Um, if you're having problems with Scarab, this guy gives you a shield on a two-turn cooldown for two turns, right? Um, also gives you a cleanse and a um, ally protection for one champion, unfortunately. But the shield is on a two-turn duration. Um, so very solid for Scarab boss. And you get a decreased attack on the A1. All right, we got one more sacred here. Let's do this. Come on. Ooh. Aranus. All right. Um, not... <laughs> Not the best poisons on the A1, right? Um, it becomes a 5% if we ascend her. Uh, attacks all enemies has a 100% chance of increasing the duration of all debuffs on the target by one turn. Um, and then on the A3, attacks one enemy, places a block, buffs two turns on a three turn duration. Um, so it's not bad. Um, you know, you could make a case to put her in a stun set on the A2 if you really have to. Uh, not the best champion for it, but yeah. Uh, let's take a look and see what we did on the um, summoning event. How far did we go? We got all the way up to the legendary book. Why did that close out? I mean, play has been a little buggy lately for me. I don't know about you guys. 4,200 points. Maybe we'll go for the rest of this. Um, but we, we didn't really go for the fusion on this account, right? Um, it's not really, it wasn't really helpful. So, um, you know, we, we kind of skipped most of this event. But let me know in the comments down below what you guys pulled, if anything. And, um, you know, hopefully your luck went better than mine. There's 15 sacreds, one legendary champion. That's rough. That's rough. As always, guys, make sure to join us on Sundays or the Knights of Teleria, uh, where you get to see myself, JR Star 3. Final Compachi, Natural Plays 50, Guestle Gaming, along with Jarrett Gaming, where we talk everything Raid Shadow Legends. We talk about the good, the bad, the ugly. Um, and there's been a lot of ugly and good and bad lately. Um, but we'll definitely be talking uh, this week's show. We've got a lot of stuff planned for you guys. Uh, and that's it. As always, much love, much appreciation. Be safe, be well, be good to each other. And I'll catch you guys next time.